Hello, in this lesson in mathematics, we are going to cover the platonic solids. And the platonic solids have been used throughout history from, from the Greeks to the Middle Ages in the antiquity time period and through other time periods as well. When you actually see the platonic solids, you also think, I recognize these solids. You can, you probably can think of many objects in the real world that are essentially the platonic solid or they are a form of the platonic solid. You can tell they've been inspired by the platonic solid. It is very prominent very prominent in the philosophy of Plato. He mentions them a lot. And without further ado, let's have a look at the Platonic solids. Actually, before we look at them, actually, no, no, let's continue look at, looking at them. I just want to describe what they are what constitutes a platonic solid it's pretty simple it's a solid it's a solid so a 3d object that has all its faces are the same that is it there's nothing more to it than than that because if we have a look at let's say this one over here which is what we know as a cube actually that's probably not the best color to be using on that let's use white a lot better so we have a face over here which is a square we have another one over here another one over here and there's one at the back here which we can't see one to the side and one at the bottom and they're all the same and that's the same with all of these faces whether we can see them or not all of them i'm not going to draw arrows to all of them especially these two there are plenty of them there so we don't want to <laughs> just have loads of lines but that's it there's just polygons that are the same same angles they are the same length the, the same in every aspect and you might be thinking are there only five of these combinations and yes they are the actual polygon itself so this so this and this and obviously the same with all the others this can have as this can be as big or small as it needs to be and there can be as many sides there could be five sides there could be a thousand sides but throughout history and up till now there have only been five different permutations that have been discovered that have all of its faces that are the same anything anything outside of these require a face that in some way is different to be able to properly join it because another thing that it requires is for the angles at let's say a point here so all of these angles have to be less than 300 and 60 degrees so if we work it out there's five here and these are equilateral triangles so that is 60 times by 5 which equals 300 degrees and the reason it has to be less than 360 because if it's more than 360 or if it's 360 then it's just a plain surface it's just a flat surface and if you connect a bunch of polygons and form a flat surface you've essentially formed a larger new polygon it's no longer the same so without making them flat you can't have anything other than these five 3d objects that have all of the same sides so let's talk about the names and some properties so the first one, which is over here, which is, you might recognize it as very similar to the py pyramids, and you will be correct. It's called a tetrahedron. So this over here is called a tetrahedron. And this one over here, you obviously have come across this in the form of a cube that is a common name for it 
but this is called a hexahedron. And let's choose another cool color. This little cool one over there is called an octahedron. Octahedron. And we got this, we got two left. And so this one, which is formed of a bunch of pentagons, pentagons is called a icosahedron. It is called, no, no, sorry, I'm mixing it up with the wrong one. This is a dodeca, dodecahedron. And finally, this one, is called a icosahedron. So let's talk about some properties. They all have these properties. They all have faces, which we've pointed to right here. They all have points, which are these over here. And they all have edges. So the edges, if I were to get, let's say, this color here, this would be an edge, this would be an edge, this would be an edge, as would this, and as would this. So they all have these. They have a different number of them. And the tetrahedron has four faces, four points, and six edges. We can count them. So if you look at the faces, one over here, one here, one at the back here and one at the bottom, so that's four. If we count the number of edges, one, two, three, four. And if we count the, I mean the number of points, that's what that was, the number of edges is one, one, two, three, four, five, and then six at the back there. That's obviously getting <laughs> a little messy there. And that's the same case with all of them. Obviously, I'm not gonna start drawing out the lines. You, you know where a face is, you know where a point is, you know where an edge is, but a, Hexahedron has six faces, eight points, 12 edges. A octahedron has eight faces, six points, 12 edges. A icosahedron has 20 faces. It has 12 points, 30 edges. And finally, a dodecahedron has 12 faces, 20 points, and 30 edges. In terms of their angles, a tetrahedron adds up to total if you were to get all of the angles in the polygon and add them up it totals 720 degrees a hexahedron totals 2160 so 2160 degrees a octahedron totals 1440 40 degrees, a dodecahedron totals 6,400, and let me get rid of that one, get this new one, yeah, that's good enough, 6,480 degrees, a icosahedron has a total of 3,600 degrees, so here are some properties, and again, like I was saying earlier in this video, you probably have recognized a lot of these, the hexahedron also known as a cube is used in objects all around you even if it's not a cube it's you can think of a bunch of objects that are cuboids which is just a cube stretched and squashed a tetrahedron is used as inspiration for the architecture of pyramids all of these have throughout history at one point been used as die aka the singular dice this is the most popular dice shape in the world but i've seen dice especially of these because they really do help produce random sort of values this one obviously has less values it depends on what you're going for in the sort of game that you get like dungeons and dragons these over here you will see dices that are more like these so that's what a platonic solid is it's they're just really cool objects that all of their faces are literally the same polygon same angles same size same everything so i just want to cover one more thing scroll down a bit and it is these polyhedra it is these poly 
polyhedra and these are just other 3d shapes and just looking at them you know, just briefly you might think some of these would fit under the platonic definition one that jumps out to me as looking like a platonic solid is this one over here and it almost is because if we look at we got a hexagon here and we got another one here another one here another one here another one here but these are all joined by this pentagon obviously some of the other polyhedra like this are a lot more obvious when you just quickly look at it that they don't have all of their sides the same all of their faces aren't the same but some of these other ones like like this one as well and this one i think almost <laughs> look like that they are platonic solids but they are not i honestly i do urge you to try and find if you can find more platonic solids the mass community will go crazy and i don't mean that as a joke the the entire maths and science community will literally adore you if you could find another one without how you probably almost as a god if you could find one because mathematicians for several years decades hundreds of years they've been trying to find play other solids that fit the definition of the platonic solid of all of the solids being the same but they have not been able to find any so if you think you can go for it i urge you to i've had a quick look i wasn't able to find any but this has just been a really cool video on the really awesome concept of platonic solids if you have any queries about this feel free to reach out and as usual thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next cool video